Lindsay Knapp, and I am currently finishing up my degree in um, Associates of Science, and I plan on transferring to ECU to obtain a degree in Nutrition Science. I'd like to get my bachelor's. With that degree, I plan on becoming a dietitian. And since uh, nutrition is really important to me, I thought it would be only appropriate that I do my speech on macronutrients. Now, some of you might be wondering what in the world are macronutrients. Well, macronutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And all of these perform essential roles in our bodies. Um, there are so many different fad diets out in our culture right now. Many of them tell us, stay away from fats or carbs are the enemies. And I feel like this can be very misleading. Um, I'm going to start um, by telling you about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are our body's primary source of energy, and they um, convert into glucose in our body. Carbs also provide kidney support, uh, control the central nervous system, and aid, aid in brain and muscle function. A lack of carbs will decrease energy, lower, lower your metabolism, and cause a loss of muscle mass. Now, there are two types of carbohydrates. There are simple carbs and complex carbs. Simple carbs you'll find in things like processed foods and cookies, kind of like these marshmallows. 24 grams of carbs, not good for you carbs. Um, complex carbs you will find in things such as whole grains and um, root vegetables, kind of like sweet potatoes and carrots. Those are just a few examples of each. Um, complex, carbs, complex carbs take longer to digest. And according to uh, nutritionist Sally Hughes, since fiber-rich complex carbs do take longer to digest, while simple carbs are quickly digested, they help the complex carbs actually help you feel full longer and are therefore vital for weight loss. In addition, complex carbs help stabilize your blood sugars, and they play a key role in preventing the afternoon crash so many of us you know, hear about. The next macronutrient I'll be discussing is protein. Proteins synthesize new proteins, which allow our bodies to perform basic functions. They provide antibodies, maintain tissue, and build new cells and help us feel full. According to the doctors of WebMD, unlike fats and carbohydrates, our, pro our bodies do not store protein and therefore has no reservoir to draw from um, when we need a new supply. So it's so important that we eat that protein. Now, what is the adequate amount, you ask? Well, um, according to the FDA, a sedentary person, so somebody that doesn't really do much, lays around, um, they're required to eat 0.36 grams of protein each day. But if you're somebody who strength trains, you probably need a little more. Um, when you strength train, your muscle, you cause micro tears, and your muscles need to work to repair, um, your body needs to work to repair those muscles so your muscles can grow and you need about one gram of protein per pound of body weight each day in order for that to happen. Um, some examples of protein are some meats, nuts, vegetables, or like this tuna, there's 11 grams of protein in one serving, and this can alone has five servings, so 55 grams of protein for just one little can. Now we'll talk about fats. Um, fats are often referred to as lipids, which is a scientific term. Um, I, I feel that fats are one of the most misunderstood macronutrients. Um, people are often so focused on all the negatives that they overlook all the positives. And what are those positives? That fats are a vital part of the membrane that surround each cell of the body. Um, they regulate hormones, and fats also help cushion your organs. Now, one gram of fat is equal to nine calories, and that is a little more than twice the amount of carbs and protein per gram. Carbs and protein are four calories per gram, but don't let that steer you away from eating them, because like I said, there are so many positives. Now, like carbs, there are some bad for you fats, and the saturated and trans, trans fats are things in like these yummy cookies and oatmeal pies and all these um, processed foods have a lot of fats, and you do want to avoid those. But what are the healthy fats? Well, the healthy fats are found in things like nuts, avocados, and olive oil, and you really want to eat those types of fats. Now, according to FDA, 45 to 65% of our calories should come from carbs, and 10 to 35% should come from protein, and 20 to 35% should come from fat. And now that we all have a basic understanding of each individual macronutrient and the roles in our body, I hope you can all see how crucial it is um, 
to have a healthy balance of all those macronutrients in our body.